Hi guys, welcome back to another video around full self-driving. I am using the version 12.3.4, which is the latest version. Let me just put the direction in for, uh, okay, let's pick this one. And I'm gonna quickly show you my autopilot settings too. Uh, I am gonna try it on the assertive mode today. Uh, for my pedals, I am on plaid. So we will see how this thing is gonna perform. So let me just, uh, start it and I will also be fast forwarding the video where nothing much is happening and then you know we'll take it from there so let's start let's take the car out of the parking lot and I'm gonna put it on the self driving mode so the biggest uh, change I've seen in the 12.3.4 so far that it's a little bit more subtle and slower when turning taking a little bit more time when it's at the stop sign so you'll notice what i'm saying we are approaching a stop sign here and it is gonna take its time Okay, moving forward. Okay. Yep. Biggest, uh, biggest, what you call, <laughs> I think I don't like about uh, full self driving so far is the pothole right uh, it does not look for care for any potholes it'll go over ruin your tires so that's the biggest uh, issue that i have with full self-driving other than that it's pretty stable uh, the supervised version is like good and i love the fact that they have you know dropped the monthly subscription price to 99 dollars, so it's more accessible to people Also in my last uh, video, uh, when I was testing the uh, full self-driving and going through the toll booths, right? You gave me a lot of, some people gave me a lot of heat or negative comments around like, you know, what do you expect the full self-driving to do? Uh, it's doing the right thing by like, you know, not like going through the easy pass. Uh, I understand I am okay with like what you guys are saying I was just trying to demonstrate how it works and uh, you know I personally don't like the way it stops you know right uh, in the middle of the two, two, two kind of like you know cash and easy pass toll plaza right it just stops there uh, you know if, if that is a limitation with the system they should mention that in the disclaimer that you know it's not gonna go through the easy passes or it's not gonna go through the cash or tool booths, you have to take over. So the driver is well prepared uh, ahead of time rather than, uh, you know, going to a tool booth and then like, you know, car is trying to figure out what needs to be done and it can cause a accident too. So that's just my opinion. Again, like, you know, uh, if you have a different point of view, feel free to put that in the comment section down below. I'll, I'll, I read all the comments and I reply to all the comments too. So we are on the assertive mode and yeah I see that it's keeping a little bit of a less of a distance between the car and the front and the lane changes are a little bit more frequent or fast I would say and uh, I don't mind it as long as like you know it's making the right call <laughs> but I mentioned that in some of my you know comments on reddit and facebook groups where you know I have been like talking to people about FSD that uh, you still have to be ready to take control over you know uh, the yoke or like the steering wheel and your car uh, if you think or if you have any doubt that like the full self driving is going to is going to have a problem right or like it's going to run into an issue right so it's a supervised full self driving you are still responsible for everything
So I put directions for this uh, auto lenders place, you know, just for the sake of this video. I'm not gonna go inside that dealership. I'm not in the market for another car at this point. So, you know, I just wanted to show you how good this technology has become with the software updates when you're driving on local roads without minimal intervention from the driver. I to place my camera in a way that you can see the yoke and uh, what I am seeing, right? So it's pretty much at my, uh, a little bit above my eye level, I would say. It would have been a little bit better if it was like an inch or two down, but it's fine. This is one of the busiest roads uh, here in the area that I am. So perfect for testing the full self driving. I think full self driving and autopilot are the best features, you know, in uh, electric in an electric car. A lot of companies are making electric vehicles, but nobody have this technology, right? So that's why I would always buy a Tesla if it comes to an electric car. I would not like buy another vehicle. All I can tell you, like once you start using this full FST feature on a daily basis, there is no, no going back. You will definitely be missing it once you're not gonna have it, right?
just opening my windows a little bit. Yeah. You see a lot of uh, road noise when you open the windows. <laughs> I don't know if I can demonstrate that using a GoPro, but we'll notice that when the cars start moving. Uh, my windows are down right now. I'm gonna put them up. Let me see if we can notice a difference when I, I'll be able to tell when I'm editing the video. Not right now, but yes. Uh, while in being in the car, you can definitely see it's much quieter when you close the windows. No road noise or anything. So if you notice it corrected, it was going towards this way, then you know the auto steer corrected it from on this in the middle side. So our turn is coming up. Let's see how this thing is gonna make a U-turn now. We are approaching, okay, okay, we are supposed to be going this way, making a turn, but instead it's going, okay, yeah, it, it did the right thing, this is the way to come on this side, if you want to make a turn and come on this lane from this lane, so, no, I just, uh, took over it was going to pass no, the car I am responsible in the end for any anything that happened to the car Okay, moving forward, U-turn coming up, not very close to the curb, perfect U-turn, no issues at all, and this was perfect guys, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below, so I put the directions for this place, I'm gonna, and it's going there, it's gonna go inside, so I'm gonna cancel mm -hmm. the FSD, I'm gonna end trip, and so guys, what do you guys think? Let me give you some final thoughts on what I think. I think, this is my own opinion, FST has come a long way. Can you use it on daily basis? Yes, of course. It's, it's a good tool, great tool to have, especially if you are driving on a stop and go traffic or you're going far. It is like one of the best thing Tesla offers at this point. None of the other companies have this kind of technology. This is like really, really great. And they're making it even better with every software update. They listen to your feedback. They basically work on the things that need to be enhanced. And then which with each and every single update, it's better. Um, can you completely rely on it? Like, can you trust the technology? I would not uh, agree with that. I would say you have to be responsible when you're using this technology 
you can rely on the technology up until the fact that like you know there are going to be situations where you have to take over and behind the wheel when you're sitting here using the fsd you need to be a you need to be ready to take over at any second any point and you have to be completely attentive then you will definitely be enjoying this technology a lot right if you are sleeping behind the wheel i'm i'm i'm, I'm sorry that's not something this is thing this thing is meant for right you're not going to be able to enjoy this and you're going to be keep on getting warning then after like i think five attempts you are going to be suspended to use it for a certain amount of time so i will be using this every day making more videos about this as well right as uh, more improvements come up or new versions come up i will be testing them and providing you my feedback this is my own car I'm not sponsored this is my own tesla plaid uh and you know i'll be i'll be making more content around this topic as well so if you are interested in full self driving or like teslas in general or like tesla plaid for specific reasons right just uh mention uh, just just uh consider subscribing to my channel and i'm going to be seeing you in the future videos on that note goodbye guys and stay safe